Hey guys, prepared wander in the man cave today. Well, it's stinking hot and raining again in Ohio, and I just cannot seem to find time to get outside to do what I want to do. So I'm going to shoot another video inside. I apologize. I cannot wait for summer to be over with and fall to get here. That is the time that I like to go out and hike and camp and shoot video. Um, so what I got planned for tonight is um, I got some new products in from a new manufacturer that I'm working with and I want to show them to you and just do a little uh, quick kind of tabletop review and see what you guys think. So stick around. We're going to get into it. It should be interesting. All right. Here it is. As promised, new gear. And what we're going to be looking at is some haversacks and some organizational pouches from a new company that I'm working with called Sputnik Gear. Now, unusual name, right? Sputnik Gear. Well, they're from the Ukraine, of all places. And this is not the first Ukrainian company I've worked with. Um, if you remember correctly, I did a couple videos ago of a uh, concealed carry bag that was from another Ukrainian maker. Um, I get a lot of requests from different makers while I turn in in companies and I turn a lot down But every once in a while something comes up and I go. Yeah, this is I think this the channel will like this I think it's quality gear and I was not wrong When I got this stuff in I was really impressed with the quality um, You know, it's hard to tell on film, but this stuff is made from uh, Quality materials. I believe this the the bags are 500 uh, D Cordura, um, and then they are double lined, so there is two layers of fabric um, on the bags and on the pouches. So let's look at them real quick. Now, uh, first of all, the naming designation on these is a little strange. Uh, I think these are the Bobby Lee Haversacks. This is their historic EDC line that they call it. Um, they're kind of based off of Civil War haversacks. Uh, one is the Mark One, and I believe that one is the Mark Three. Uh, this is the Mark One, um, from my understanding. This is the Mark Three. Uh, check out their website. Link is down below, uh, so you can get all the right names, designations, prices, all that stuff. Uh, the Mark One um, is a more a uh, simple haversack in the fact that it is just a pocket. So you open it up, nice brightly colored interior, as you can see there. Look inside, nice and bright. One simple pocket, okay? Um, no organization to it, no uh, dividers or anything like that. Just one big open envelope style pouch or pocket. And that's it. And there is adjustability in the shoulder strap. You can see right there. There is a buckle for that. And that does adjust down. Uh, the sewing on this is, uh, it's really good. I mean, it, it's very neat. Uh, they're using box stitching um, down here. You can see uh, to secure this strap, there is a reinforcing strap on the back here that the, the actual shoulder strap is sewn into. So this thing is not going to fall apart. This is by no means a cheap overseas piece of junk. Um, this is a custom uh, nylon gear maker um, right up to snuff with the, with the guys here in the United States that are making custom nylon stuff so um, and I, I see a lot of this stuff I compare it all the time so I can I say say with this with confidence this is quality made so this is the mark one okay and this is in the kind of a coyote tan with the coyote tan webbing okay now we get into the Mark III. Mark III is in this kind of uh, blue-gray material. I like the color. It's pretty cool. And it's got the coyote trim and coyote buckle. Same reinforcing uh, on the back. Same strap. Same uh, single buckle design. Okay. But that's kind of where it ends. Because when you get into this thing, 
it is it has a lot more organization and as you can see there is a zipper that actually closes off the whole pouch so not only do you have a flap but you have a zipper as well okay so we've got this uh zipper pouch in the back that runs the entire depth and width of the the haversack itself okay see that and here i've guess got a bandana small grill plenty of room for larger items definitely enough room if you're doing edc and you want to do like maybe an ipad or something like that that'll fit back in there small notebook whatever um <clears throat> on the inside there is another zipper pouch down here and it's slightly smaller but still very deep got a small tarp in there and then the main compartment has and this is going to be kind of hard to show you guys because we can't really get inside this bag easily to show it let's see if it, there are slip pockets there's one two and then on the front of the bag three four so you got four slip pockets on the inside okay one two three four if that makes sense now the deal with this kind of bag uh, is that since it is an envelope style um, you're not going to get as much stuff in it as you would let's say um, a thicker or wider you know haversack um, so if you're going to use this in the traditional sense of a haversack for out bushcrafting you're definitely going to have to uh, pare down what you bring um, and really be cognizant of what you're doing with this thing because you're, it's going to be easy to overload it um, and it's not going to fit obviously big water bottles so just as just as a size comparison, here's an Algene. Pretty standard water bottle that most people carry. I have a lot of them, I use them. Fits in pretty well because it's short. Now if you get into a more, like a 32 ounce Nalgene, the round kind, it's not gonna fit as well. It's gonna be bulky, it's, it's gonna be hard to pack stuff. Probably where this thing would excel is if you had your water bottle kit on a different and in like a different kit or bag and carry that separately what i think this would be good for is um and particularly this model is this would be a great pack to fold up roll up and throw this in a larger bag um, so that when you get to camp, you can pull this out and deploy it and then use it for a walkabout in the woods and collecting materials or whatever. And um, using those organizational pouches that they make, throwing your, your different kits in there. So this would be good for that. This bag, I think, um, really probably is more suited towards urban EDC than bushcrafting. You do both. I mean, it's just how you pat what what you like to take. <clears throat> I tend to take a lot of stuff. I like the 10 C's or the 5 C's at the minimum um, plus. So this gets a little tight for that. But um, for urban EDC, I think for flat items like notebooks, iPads, pens, pencils, paperwork, stuff like that, it's going to work pretty well. Um, dimensions on the bag. Uh, this is running about 13 inches wide by about 11 and a half, almost, yeah, about 11 and a half tall. So 13 by 11 and a half, pretty, pretty decent size. Other haversacks the same way. So there's the haversack. Pouches. <clears throat> They, they sent me uh, several. Um, we've got uh, this uh, blue-gray color, and then we have the coyote color. There's basically um, three sizes. There is a small, see that? Medium, 
and then a larger one. Um, dimensions on these, the large is nine and a half. A six and a half, medium is eight by five, and then the small is a five by four. So nice, nicely made pouches, just like the haversack, really made well. Uh, they have these really cool 550 cord pull or grab handles. I, I love that. Uh, nice lightweight feature. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Not bulky. The tan pouches are a single um, layer of material. So they're a little bit lighter. But the these blue pouches are actually double material. So they've got the blue gray on the outside and then the tan on the inside. I don't know if there's a price difference on that. I assume there would be. I'm not sure why they do that, but um, so they are different. So when you're looking at the website and if you're going to order something, you want to make sure you order the ones that you want. Um, I, I like both of them. I prefer these because they're a little bit more lightweight um, and they're less bulky because they don't have the double material. But they, you know, they both function the same as an organizational pouch, and they are extremely well made just like the haversack, so uh, no worries there. Now, as far as what you can fit into these things, um, you know, I've got, right now I've got like a little first aid kit in this one. The medium size one, I was able to fit um, all my uh, fire making stuff in there very easily. And this big one was big enough to actually do a food bag just for like a day trip. So, you know, put some ramen in there, some spam, coffee, sugar, hot sauce, my spoon. It all fit in there very easily. No problems. Um, so definitely a good organizational option for you. Okay, one thing you're probably going to want to know is how this thing fits um, uh, and how much adjustability you have in the strap. So with this uh, strap, I've got this thing pretty much fully extended and it's sitting right at my waistline. So not bad. Uh, I'm six foot one. Um, I've, I've had other bags that have not been long enough. This is plenty long enough. Um, nice thing about this is is you can flip this around and carry it carry it on your back um, which is a lot of times what I do with the haversack because that way I can access my knife um, or other stuff that I have on my belt and then also this helps um, uh, control the load a little bit it's a little bit more comfortable and it doesn't flop around as much so uh, this haversack fits really nicely in that sweet spot on on the middle of my back towards my hip um, Plenty of adjustability. Fits pretty well. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I want to thank Sputnik Gear for sending me this stuff. Very nice of them to do so. Please check them out on Instagram. Check out their website. Link is down below. They sell a lot more than just this haversack, by the way, and these bags. Uh, they have some really nice backpacks that I've been looking at. Um, some unique features and designs for sure um, and if it's if the quality is anything like this stuff I think you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised so they're definitely another option out there for you to check out and uh, it's always great to check out new and different manufacturers um, from around the world and um, uh, it's just awesome that Sputnik Gear sought me out and asked me to do this I appreciate it um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. That helps out the channel. Make sure you check out the links down below for Amazon Store and uh, the Facebook group, uh, which is growing uh, very large and is a lot of fun. And then my Instagram page, which also has a lot of extra content in there as well. So all these things uh, help out the channel, help me out, and I appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.